Hello everyone, I'm Nini FC and this is Blue Lions TV and welcome to another Transfer Daily video. In today's video, I'm going to be focusing the entire video on Eden Hazard, Real Madrid and those statements that he did make after that game against England. But you guys, before I get straight into the video, please smash that like button, help me get more than 500 likes for today's video and press the bell notification button as well to stay notified to all things Blue Lions TV. For you guys, i got to get straight into the video. Now, this story was broken to everyone first by Christoph Torreira. Christoph Torreira is a Belgian sports journalist. He's got a lot of very close ties to the Belgian players. He's one of the best journalists out there at this moment. And he reported the quotes made by Eden Hazard. And you guys, it's going to be on the screen now. I'm going to read it out for you guys. And here's what Eden Hazard had to say. After six wonderful years at Chelsea, it might be time to discover something different, certainly after this World Cup. I can decide if I want to stay or go, but Chelsea will make the final decision if they want to let me go, but you know my preferred destination. And he had further quotes as well. We already knew for a while that Sari was going to become the new manager. If he's a good manager, if he lets me win trophies, yes. Dries Mertens has told me he is a good coach. We'll have to work hard the Italian way, but we are used to that with Antonio too. Now, from these comments by Hazard, does that definitively say that Hazard will be leaving? Well, you guys, this is why today I made this video. Now, I'm going to explain to you guys what I've been hearing over the past few weeks. As you guys already know, if you follow me on Twitter, I was at a Budweiser event yesterday, it was on a boat, so I wasn't able to release a transfer daily video. And you guys, it has been quite hard to release videos, especially with all this sorry stuff happening. So of course, when people tell me, why didn't I release it beforehand? Well, there, there just isn't enough hours in the day to do that. But literally, the comments made by Hazard straight after the game is the true definition of things changing drastically in football. But you guys, I think there's context and I think there's a reason a lot of people aren't thinking about as to why Hazard came out with these comments in the first place. But I'm going to tell you guys what I've heard before. Chelsea have offered a five-year contract to Hazard. It's worth more than 300000 per week. Yes, Dries Mertens has been liaising with Hazard as well, really selling Saru to him. The Barca interest was real and they did try to make an inquiry for Eden Hazard, but Chelsea did reply back to and they told Barcelona, we want 200 to 300 million for him. And you guys, I'm sorry that I can't fully remember because I had a phone call conversation with one of the people I know. And Barcelona actually tried to make a counter offer by asking Chelsea if they could pay for Hazard over 10 years, which of course Chelsea laughed at and refused. I mean, imagine that, what, 30 million a year for 10 years? I mean, it's nonsense. And how would Chelsea be able to reinvest that money made from Hazard back into a new player? It wouldn't be the case. And at the time, and I still personally do believe this, it was looking like Hazard was going to be signing a new contract. But the quotes he said yesterday literally came straight from the dome. Maybe these are personal things he's been thinking behind the scenes as he's been talking and negotiating with Chelsea. And it's understandable, you know, he's a human being. And I'm going to be giving you guys a different perspective in which to see things from. Now, I'm going to provide my own context to this situation. But first, we need to understand Hazard's mindset. Now, look at things through his perspective. If he signs his five-year deal at Chelsea, that's effectively keeping Hazard at the club until he retires. There's no way any clubs will be able to afford to buy Eden Hazard. And you guys, it's natural. It's like when people get married. It's natural that they do get cold feet because, you know, that responsibility dawns on you like, wow, I'm going to be here forever. This is a massive commitment. Yes, we do know that Eden and his dad have been talking to Real Madrid over the years. But with Zidane leaving, of course, that really changed a lot of things. I personally believe if Zidane still stayed in charge for another season, I think that you would have seen a much more assertive Hazard stating from the start, you know what, I don't care about anything, I want to leave the club. But you guys, as I've explained to you Hazard's mindset, why did he decide to make these comments in the first place? Now, there is something, and you guys, it does fall down to Neymar and Mbappe, and later on in this video, I'm going to be breaking that down and getting into further detail. But before I do that, let's break down the quotes that Hazard made. As Hazard himself said, he's enjoyed his time at Chelsea, but it might be time to discover something different after the World Cup. Now, what does this mean? 
Well, of course, he's made up his mind that he would like to leave personally if he could. But as he says himself, it's going to be coming down to Chelsea. And what Hazard and Chelsea want are two completely different things. He knows it's up to Chelsea. But would Chelsea sell him? Well, yes, if a club does meet Chelsea's demands. And what are those demands? Well, it's the same demands that they sent to Barcelona. And for me, it's really simple. If Neymar's going for that amount, then Hazard goes for that same amount or more. Now, you guys, I've got to get back to Neymar and Mbappe and what this deal means in regards to Hazard's future. Well, I know what you might be thinking, Nini. If Real Madrid are going to target guys like Mbappe and Neymar already, why would the price that Chelsea put on Hazard affect Real Madrid at all? I'm going to break down as to why this is a very simplistic way to see things and what the further context is. As I said, you guys, Chelsea aren't accepting clubs to pay for him over the years. They want the money up front and straight away, which of course is going to cause a lot of complications. As you guys know already, we're synonymous when it comes to selling players on our terms and Marina gets the deals that's best for the club. There's no way that we fold under any club's pressure whatsoever. But could Real Madrid meet whatever demands that Marina puts on Hazard? Probably not. And I'm going to tell you guys why. And the one simple thing is, Eden Hazard does not garner that same commercial market value that guys like Neymar and Mbappe do. Now, we know that Ronaldo made a ton of money for Real Madrid. He's the most marketable player in the world. Neymar is in that same bracket as well. But you might be thinking, but Nini, surely Hazard's worth is more than Mbappe's. But you've got to see it like this. Mbappe is still a teenager. Now, imagine if he signs for Real Madrid. He effectively becomes the new face and icon of the club. Imagine all the new commercial opportunities Madrid will be able to get from that. Imagine everything happening behind the scenes like that. In terms of an investment, it makes a lot more sense targeting someone like Mbappe because number one, you know he's practically going to be at the club forever and the amount of money he'll be raking in for another guy that's definitely going to be a Ballon d'Or winner in the future. And once he reaches that level, that's when the real money starts coming in. Hazard can't compete when it comes to his commercial market value. And there's a reason why Real Madrid are literally the only club in the world that make these Galactico signings. As I've been saying, this is how Real Madrid make money. They make money because signing guys like this is an investment for them. Real Madrid's reach is so massive. They've got so many fans all across the world that they're one of the only handful of clubs, probably the only club, that can get away with spending ridiculous amounts of money and getting all of that money back from commercial deals. Now you guys, if you cast your minds back to when Ronaldo left United to sign for Real Madrid, reports were coming out that literally in the space of a few months, Real Madrid earned all that money back from the Ronaldo transfer due to the amount of shirts that they sold with Ronaldo's name on the back. Now I think it was more than 1 million, more than 1 million shirts. Imagine the hundreds of millions that was brought in from that. Now, Real Madrid could actually get all their money back from the Neymar deal as well, due to the amount of commercial market value he does have. With Kylian Mbappe, he's even more of an investment because they know that over the next few years, they can make even more money from him. With Eden Hazard, can you really imagine Real Madrid selling 1 million shirts with his name on the back? Of course not. And this is where it doesn't make much financial sense for Real Madrid at this moment in time. But still, to play devil's advocate, how could Real Madrid possibly be able to afford Eden Hazard? The only possible way I see Hazard signing for Real Madrid is if, number one, let's say Madrid are impatient and they don't want to wait another year for guys like Mbappe and Neymar. If worse came to worse, it did fall in like that. And the second reason is Real Madrid would definitely have to offer players as part of a deal as well as cash to try and sign Eden Hazard. That's the only way this deal makes financial sense on Real Madrid's part. And you guys, as I did state, Madrid could possibly have to wait another year to try and sign someone like Neymar and Mbappe. Very long, complicated deals. Would it be the end of the world? Well, no. I kind of imagine with Real Madrid, they could easily survive with Asensio, Isco and James Rodriguez for a season if they knew that they can get one of the big boys in Mbappe or Neymar. If worse came to worse, they couldn't get these guys this window. Now you guys, you might be thinking, Nini, how do you see everything going towards the future? Is Hazard still going to be in a Chelsea shirt? And is he going to be playing under Sarri for this season? Now here's how I see things. Hazard came out to put final pressure on Real Madrid saying, you know what you guys, I want to play for you. I'm available. If you're serious about me, forget your attentions on Mbappe and Neymar focus it on me and try and sign me for this season. Otherwise, if that doesn't happen, I am going to sign a new contract 
and I will never have another chance to sign for Real Madrid. Chelsea will make things very difficult you guys, there's only like 20 plus days left of the transfer window and something tells me that Madrid will be playing the long game. I think they'll be willing to wait another year if it means they can bring in Neymar and Mbappe because as I've been stressing to you guys, these guys are investment players that Madrid make money from. I'll give you guys an example. When it comes to Ronaldo getting contract extensions at Real Madrid, they're not just getting money out from the bank to give to them. What they're doing most times is giving Ronaldo more access to the image rights because Real Madrid are effectively in control of them. And Ronaldo was earning more than half a million a week from that. So just imagine the crazy amounts of money coming from all these ad deals and all these companies wanting to work with the most marketable players in the world. I know I keep going on, but Hazard just doesn't have that same clout. And because of this, I see Hazard staying. Yes, he might be upset for like maybe a month, but I think once he's worked on the Sari, once he sees the new transition of football, once he sees the new philosophy in place as well, I think he'll quickly forget everything and I expect him to still sign this new five-year deal and retire at the club. And something tells me that we will be laughing at this at the end of the season. We constantly hear news of Hazard wanting to leave. But anyway, you guys, you know what? In the comment section below, you've got to give me your thoughts and opinions. Let's say hypothetically, worst came to us, we did sell Eden Hazard. What two players would you want from Real Madrid and how much money on top would you want with those two players? Thank you to everyone for watching today's video. Thank you for all the support recently. You guys have been doing bits for me. The amount of subscribers I got yesterday for yesterday's video. Thank you to you guys. As I keep stressing, make sure you press the bell notification button to stay tuned to all new video releases and smash that like button. Help me get more than 500 likes for today's video. You guys, I'm Nini FC. This is Blue Lines TV. Signing out.